and then I guess I'll use the hammer and pound it in. All right, let's open this up. Let's do this. He stabbed the vampire with a stake, but it does not go deep enough. Um, hey, Iron God, what is up, my friend? Thanks for the sub. Potatoes? Was I supposed to bring... Oh, to eat, you mean? Um, I didn't bring potatoes, but I'll tell you what I did bring. Um, a steak and some garlic. So I think... Oh, I get it, Iron God. Oh, man, you, you, that was hilarious. I was like, oh, no, I forgot the potatoes. Steak and potatoes. Beautiful. I love it. Maybe a bit of butter for sure. Garlic butter, dude. Garlic butter when you're dealing with vampire. Delicious. Now you got my mouth watering over here. Um, all right, we got them low. Let me use the steak hammer on him. Did I do it? The garlic weakened him, and I killed him. Oh my god, his head fell off. Holy Moses. <coughs> I'm sorry, everybody. Um, uh, Gmod, hey, I'll tell you what. I'm so glad that you stopped in and reminded me also of that uh, gold pack. I appreciate that. I hope you have an excellent day at work my friend get some sleep sleep is the best thing in the world and again thank you for stopping by i'll check you next time gmod so i should have warned everyone good night my friend it's not going to be the worst head dropping quest i should have told the entire twitch chat like to look away if seeing a vampire turn to ash and then be decapitated is a traumatizing visual. I didn't know it was going to happen, but wow, that was intense. I should tell him that I've killed the vampire. I did. So I used the hammer. Um, I didn't even really have to eat. I was nice and strong. I tell you what, my gorilla could have stepped in there and done a little fighting. I wouldn't have been angry. All right, let's go out the side door here. Oh my God, no, no, go out the side door. You're never gonna find it that way. Yeah, there you go. There you go, my dude. Okay, now we can go tell Morgan that he can stay here, that his beautiful blue rugs and coat rack are safe. Him and his wife can keep chilling in this godforsaken town that's a great question iron god about bossing um i don't know yet i've got all kinds of plans i want to do all these quests and then somebody was giving the good advice that i also need to oh i'm going the wrong way um i need to go set no i am going the right way I also need to level up some of my other skills. Like, I kind of want to spend some time and work on smithing and mining and stuff like that. Yeah, that's going to be really fun, Iron God, actually. Just, like, learning some of the quintessential RuneScape boss fights. I'm excited about that. I got to get some, like, first-time kills on some legendary bosses. All right, we're going in. Morgan, I did it, dude. Your ponytail is all right. I killed the vampire. Praise Sarah Doman. Bless you. We are all saved. The vampire is slain. We did it. Boom. Wow, look at the count. The giant mole. That sounds good. A giant mole seems like something I could take. I got three quest points, a huge combat experience lamp, and two treasure hunter keys. Boom. All for me. Let's rub it. 
I should probably raise my um, some of my other skills <laughs> because my magic skill is insane. It's 34. Um, maybe defense or constitution. I could go into strength, actually. My strength is pretty bad. As is my attack. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just do this. Get a Reaper assignment with death since I'm already in Drainer? Sure, I'll try that. Um, it very well might be members only. I'm not sure. Boom. Alright. So, looking at the quests, <coughs> I had some... Uh, I'm going to check off can complete so that I can look at some other quests that I don't quite meet the requirements for. Um, I can't do this. It's members only. Goblin diplomacy. All right. Well, I could use a little goblin diplomacy. Um, although it says north of Falador, and I've never been to Falador, so I would have to uh, find it. And that sounds fun. So Falador is way over here. So I'm going to have to just kind of hoof it and find the uh, lodestone to get there. So, if I just go... Oh, it's right next door. Here's the big town, Falador, over here. To the northwest. Um, check with Death first? Sure, I will. Uh, where is Death? Can I see him easily on my map? Is he like a skull and crossbones or something? Right next to the lodestone? Oh, okay. Well, that's easy enough. Um, so I just need to go north. So there's a big Grim Reaper dude down here. Is this him? Oh, no. That's just some player coming through. Oh, here we go. Um... He's north of the lodestone. All right, let's look around. Um, click the green. Oh, Death's Hourglass. Cool. Thank you. I had no. This is a complete first for me. Oh my goodness! I've been teleported to another realm that is supported by chains. You know, a lot of the times games do this where they show you a realm that is just hanging by chains and it's pretty unbelievable to consider how strong these chains must be and also how scary that is a purple whirlpool of oblivion if I've ever seen one and I don't want to go down there so I'm going to kind of just walk up here Wow. <laughs> He's into whips and chains. He might be. He might be. I'm not going to talk to him about that. I don't think we're ready. We're not at that stage of the relationship. Okay. Can I just say... Um, full marks to RuneScape. It appears... 
it, it I could be mistaken that Death's desk, his work desk, is a coffin. And that's intense. It might not be. This might be something else, but it looks like a casket to me. Um, and, man, his candles have been here for a while. The wax is dripping. The hourglass is set here on the floor. He's got some books to read. Whoa. This book's got some glowing glyphs. And then there's Death's Door. That's funny. Um, wow, these are some really powerful stained glass pieces here. So here's a farmer toiling away with his scythe. And then he has died of old age. And then Death... He either becomes Death or he beckons souls in here. And then... I don't know who this god is that's bigger than death and giving death the scythe or talking to death, but maybe we'll find out. There's a lot of uh, interesting stuff going on here. Let's talk to this dude. Oh, I gotta talk to him down here, huh? It's not your time yet, Dr. Incompetent. What do you require from me? Um, is there anything I can help you with? You may be of use to me in time. Return to me when you are more experienced in dealing death. So does this mean, like, I'm not a member or because I have to kill more things? Either way, not quite ready for him yet. I wish I could tell where he was looking. It is a little unnerving, isn't it? Oh, it says, Soul Reaper Tasks are only available on members' worlds. I see that. Okay, well, then fair enough. One day, one day we'll try this out. Let's go ahead and look at this hourglass and bounce out and go to Falador. The beautiful Falador. Well, I don't know if it's beautiful. I've never been there, but it sounds... Anything's got to be better than Draenor. All right, so I'm going to go west, and I'll get there. Oh, there's a palisade around Falador, and it makes sense. You want to build a nice stone fence to keep out the Draenor. Oh, wow. Yeah, here comes the sun. For sure. Here comes the sun. Oh, yeah, they've got dairy cows. Ooh, cabbage. Yeah, I could spend some time killing these cows. No, there's no competition, you know? This is the way of RuneScape. You're just looking for a pleasant farm on which you can murder cows to get their hide. Now, we're not going to kill the baby cows, that's for sure. All right. Hey, Sheep Pickle, what's going on? Yeah, you're probably right about that. I... I'm not powerful enough, and you have to be a member. There's so many things holding me back from doing that. Um, let's look for the lodestone here. Dooby dooby doo. It's up here. Okay, so I got to go through the town. Wow, look at this place. They've got a castle with a legit moat. Oh, their boss fights? Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know if it was just like a... A, a kill quest kind of thing. Wow, look at this garden. This looks really nice. You've got a ring garden here. Good for you. Oh, man. These are some intense-looking plants. All right. Let me just step in the center of town, and then um, get into the free cam here. 
I always like to check out a town when I get into one, so let's look at Falador. Oh. Who's this handsome devil? Is he a wanted man? Ooh, they got a barber shop. What's in here? Okay, here's a weapon shop. This must be the yak track. There's guards everywhere. Hey! That's a very nice apron you have, lady. How are you doing? Wow, swans in the moat. You have to pay a premium to get the moat stocked with uh, swans. Oh, and there's some, you know, mallards in here too. Nice. This is a, just a very, very serene looking moat. Oh. Somebody was deviously going through this hole in the fortifications. I mean, somebody needs to fix this. This is not doing its job. And here is the lapidary shop. Okay, gems for everyone. That water does look nice, doesn't it? I could take a dip right now. Cool off a bit. It's a shortcut to Taverly? No. Fair enough. Oh, they got some birch trees over here. This must be the guardhouse. It's just the barracks for the soldiers where they can come get a, a nice bite to eat. And then, ooh, Rapunzel's chamber. All right. Okay. And very good. We have taken a nice tour of Falador, and we're going to go to the north to get the lodestone. Here it is. Activate the lodestone. Yeah. I love that you get an achievement for activating each lodestone. That's very nice. Achievements make me feel... So accomplished. Wow, this guy's armor is unreal. Good for you. Oh, here's the bard with his leg up as usual. You see, the bards will not play unless there is a place for them to do this Captain Morgan style leg pose. Ah, yes, Sheepical. I remember that. Thank you for that tip. Yeah, you can just chill out and listen to the musicians. The only problem I have with the musicians in this game, I love music, by the way, and I love listening to music, I would listen to this guy, is how uncomfortably close you sit to them when you listen. Let me show you this. You've seen this, but you sit so close and you're staring directly at his nether region. It's just, like, I guess you could say you're staring at the guitar, and it's fine if you want to stare at his nether region. You just need to be a little bit more subtle. You know what I mean? Um, I, I just, I would like to scoot back a little bit. I feel like I'm in his space. That's all. Okay. See, these people are, like, respectfully jamming out to the music. And this is what I would like to be doing. As opposed to... Cross-legged. Right in front of them. Alright. So we've got the... Oh, you can also right rest by right-clicking the, the run thing. That's right. Alright, let me go ahead to my equipment. And I've got... Let me find a bank really quickly. I've got too much junk on me. Um, here's a bank. Right in the town. Let's just go right here. He doesn't mind. Okay, well, you know what, IBK, as long as the dude doesn't mind. Listen to the music of my people. I will. As long as he doesn't mind. I mean... 
it does appear to be weirdly located, doesn't it? It's like... I thought I saw it. Let me look at this map again. I'm here. It's over... By the... By the snippers. It's by the barber. Oh, yeah. It's very oddly located. You gotta go through a bunch of weird streets to get this thing happening. Oh, my. There it is. Campfires... It's even hard to get into it. There we go. Oh, wow. But they have um, lots of tellers working. They've cloned the same bank teller man, and he's working at each booth. It's fine. Oh, I can't bank it. That's right. Um, well, can I deposit this? Yeah. Let me go to my magical stuff, and then I'm going to just put in my Batwing book um, and my wand. And then I'm fine carrying food. <laughs> Are you the imposter? No, you're not an imposter. Get real. You can use whichever teller you want, my friend. Um, do I need this steak hammer ever again? I can probably just throw that away, right? Well, whatever. I can keep it in my bank. Green is pretty suspicious. Yeah. I will read. Yeah, that's a great idea. It, you know, it could be a meat tenderizer. And it's a nice memento of the time. That time when I killed a vampire. You know, it's you gotta have a keepsake. Alright. So let me then go to my inventory. Oops. Um, here it is. And we're just gonna destroy this. Yes. Um. Alright, great. Hey, look at this guy. We're like brothers. We have the same armor, everything. That's true. I didn't have to cremate his corpse. Yeah, it did a l You know what? You're right. I should be thankful. I should be more grateful for all the things that they did. I didn't have to bury it. I didn't have to cremate it. They um, took the head off for me. And then the ash just magically, you know, dissipated. Okay. So, it's time to look for my buddy, the quest giver for Goblin Diplomacy. Um, and he's in the Goblin Village north of Falador. So I'm in Falador. Let's just go to the north and find this Goblin Village, I guess. Um, hopefully it's not too far north. Here's a Barbarian Village. Here's Taverly. Here's Berthorpe. Alright, well directly north. Alright, let's do it. Thank you. Alright, musician. You're doing great. Between Taverly and the Ice Mountain, okay? Perfect, thank you. Do do do. I got a lot of fun stuff going on here. Oh, I see it. <laughs> it. It was right there. I just didn't see it in time. Here we go. All right. So, the emissary. All right. Who do I need to talk to here? General Bent Nose. All right, General. I'm coming for you, dude. You in here, General?
General Wart face. Red armor best. No, it has to be green. Go away, human. We busy. Um, why are you arguing about the color of your armor? We decide to celebrate Goblin New Century by changing color of our armor. Brown get boring after a bit. We want change. Makes sense. Problem is, they want different change to us. Um, do you want me to pick an armor color for you? Yes, as long as you can pick green. No, you have to pick red. Oh, boy. Um, what about a different color? Uh, accept the quest. Not green or red. That would mean me wrong, but at least Wartface not right. That's right. That's, this is compromise, goblins. Yes, there we go. Me to know what that looked like. Have to see armor before we decide. Hot pink? Hey, hot pink is fine. I think some fuchsia would look great. Human, you bring us armor in new color. What color we try? Orange armor might be good. Yes, bring us orange armor. Oh, they wanted orange. You know what? Galaxy purple would have been good. I mean, look at my robes. I have just the real... I got dark purple, you know, lavender, medium purple, light... I got it all here. 